The rise in moisture content in a home or business produces the perfect environment for mold to grow. Unexpected water intrusion is often caused by factors such as flooding from storms. Leaks in pipes or in the roof. Condensation or even high humidity. When the conditions are right, mold can begin to grow within 24 to 48 hours. So it is important that measures are taken quickly to prevent further growth and contamination. At Good To Be Clean, we utilize top of the line equipment and advanced restoration techniques to ensure that any damage and contamination is taken care of in the most thorough and effective way. Today we're doing mold remediation. We're going to be taking out a bunch of sheetrock um, that's infested with mold. I'm going to chalk line it across just so we have a nice straight line to cut on so it ain't looking like the Pacific Ocean. It's pretty nasty, there's a lot of mold. The first step of our remediation process is to ensure that the source of the water problem has been repaired. Once the water source has been taken care of, we encapsulate any visible mold in the area and remove any structures from the area that do not have mold contamination. Next, we construct temporary walls and put plastic barriers in place under negative pressure to trap in dust and other contaminants during the remediation process. All seams and cracks are carefully taped off. Doorways are blocked and a special exit chamber is constructed. A HEPA air scrubbing machine is also installed to clean the air pulled out of the containment area and to create negative pressure. Microbial growth in a home or business can potentially produce an unhealthy and dangerous environment that can result in a variety of health complications. Those most susceptible to risk are people with compromised or underdeveloped immune systems and other lung-related issues. At Good To Be Clean, we are devoted to restoring the area to a safe and healthy condition take the most diligent measures to prevent any cross-contamination to the area while work is being performed. After the barrier has been constructed and carefully sealed off, the technicians will put on protective gear before they re-enter to begin the demolition process. Clean off the mold contaminated materials with a HEPA filtered vacuum and then place them in heavy duty trash bags to be removed from the containment area. We constantly take protective measures to prevent further mold contamination. After the demolition process is complete, the next step is to clean the area. 
Special tools are utilized to thoroughly clean wood, concrete, or other porous structures. Next, we vacuum the area again and then wipe everything down with an antimicrobial detergent. After the cleaning process, we vacuum and wipe down the entire containment area. For all microbial remediation, we encourage our customers to hire an indoor environmental professional. After the cleaning process is finished, the indoor environmental professional will perform a post-remediation inspection to ensure that all cleaning has been done properly and your home is in a safe condition. The mold remediation is done and now it's time to do rebuild. So we'll take down our containment and uh, get the contractors in here to uh, begin to reassess their uh, boat and uh, start the rebuild process and get this property back to its pre-loss condition. Finally, the containment will be removed and the area will be ready for reconstruction. Sudden, unexpected damage to your property can be a difficult experience, and our goal is to make the process as easy and carefree for you as possible. At Good To Be Clean, our technicians are trained restoration specialists who are certified and equipped to handle any mold situation. Whether it be fire, flood, or mold that has unexpectedly intruded upon your home or business, Good To Be Clean is here to help you overcome those challenges and get back to a safe and peaceful home environment.